Hold on one second. Money, it's for you. Hello? Grandmother, what's wrong? Are you sick? Medea, you're not supposed to call here unless it's an emergency. Who's asking questions about me? Okay, Grandmother, listen to me. Do not talk to anyone. And don't call here again. I know I love you too. Soon. Soon. Come on! Show your face! Come on, what are you afraid of? So, you know, Allison tried, she, she tried to get down here to be with me, but she couldn't. For some reason, she couldn't. So guess what? You lose! <laughs> Think again, Slayer. She may be safe for the moment, but you're stuck here. So who's the loser? <laughs> The only thing that I can think of is that that isn't your real ring. Philip, answer me. I was touching your ring when I made the wish for Rafe to come home, but it didn't work. It's something you never should have done, Alice. Ring is supposed to grant every single wish, no matter who's touching it. But it didn't work because that is not your real ring, is it? Oh my God, that's a phony. That means the reef isn't coming back. So where is it, Caleb? Where is your real ring? Once I get everything set up. Tonight, it'll be perfect. And then I can finally make my wish. Can I get you something? Yeah, I'd like something to go with something special. It's you. Would you mind taking me over? So, so, you make friends wherever you go. Yeah, you should be glad I'm giving you my business. I would like two large lobster towels. And some Caesar salads and some rice and veggies on the side, please. To go now. Wow, big occasion. Yeah, you have no idea. So who's the victim? Oh God, you don't know me anymore, do you? I know you well enough to know you're up to something tonight. It's written all over your face, Libby. If you must know, Caleb and I are in for a very romantic evening tonight. And I think maybe you should be kissing my feet for bringing you my business because, you know, I'm a really good customer. I could be going somewhere else. But not you. You like to, you know, attack oh, your I'm best customers. Oh, I'm just calling like I see it. Oh, right. Jack the truth teller. Yeah, the truth teller. But would you like some dessert for your lovely Evie? I mean, maybe you can uh, give me some cheesecake. Maybe you can rub it all over yourself. Have Caleb lick it off after your intellectual conversation. You're still trying to convince yourself you don't have a thing for me, huh? How come it is every time I bust your chops, you accuse me of having a thing for you? It's so exhausting hating you. Every guy needs a reason to get up in the morning. Hating you happens to be mine. I'll be back. Well, 
Maybe it doesn't have to be that way. <sighs> Where is your real ring, Caleb? Look, you, ha you have to get it. Ordering me to do something will get you nowhere. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it to sound that way. I really didn't. But if I let you leave, then Rafe, he might not ever be able to come back. Then again, you can't keep me here either. All I'm asking is that you just, you not disappear again, okay? Please, look at me. I don't have anything else to say to you. I can't make any more promises to you. All that I am left with is my love for Wraith, and I have to hope that that's gonna be enough. You know, I might actually be enjoying this if it wasn't such a bittersweet pill to swallow. I have been betrayed by the woman I love and a woman who swore to me she was my friend. I promise. I promise I won't do it again. I, I promise you, I will keep that promise. D wait, did you just say the woman that you love betrayed you? Oh my God, Livy has your real ring. Okay. Why don't you show me your face? <laughs> I said it would be a fair fight. There's no fight here. I win, you lose. That's the price you pay for your arrogance. What? Arrogance? I didn't choose to be a slayer. This was my destiny. The only thing I want is to end the curse of this ring. <laughs> it's only those who never should have wished on the ring who are cursed, and those like you who have come seeking it. In the hands of its rightful owner, the ring is a dutiful servant. <laughs> you are unbelievable! You're talking about this thing like it's almost human, like, like it has a, a will of its own! You really think humans have wills of their own? Yes! Yes, we do! That is how we have survived so long, because we have the will to choose good over evil. Not always. Just look at your world and all the wishes your friends have made. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I can't change the past, but I can change the future. You already have. What? What do you mean? You violated a sacred code. Making the choice to come here was the defining moment of your life. Your fate is sealed. And even if you could get the ring back now, it won't matter. No. No. That's what you want us to believe. You make us do that. You make us doubt ourselves. You make us doubt each other. But I'm here to tell you that nothing is ever sealed. You let yourself believe that. Yeah. Yeah, you know how I know that? Because I have seen it over and over again. Humankind has risen above the greatest tragedies. Let's see how well you do with this one. Since you're now responsible for what's going to happen. You set the wheels of fate in motion, and you, Rafe Kovich, will have to live with the consequences for all eternity. Ha! <laughs> I fought your consequences. I'll do it again. What about Allison? <laughs> what about her, huh? Is that it? Is that the last card? Is that the only card that you and Caleb can ever play? Well, go ahead! Go right ahead! She is smart, she is strong, and she loves me. And together, we will survive. No! You will live to regret this journey. And it's just begun. I know this, uh, this looks kind of bad, buddy. You took this from my stuff. No, I didn't take it from your stuff. I wouldn't do that. So rather than ask me about it, you tried to investigate me yourself? Well, I just don't feel like I deserve to be lied to. What lies? Like you're trying to convince me that your grandmother's not alive. 
You're not telling me where you're from, where you grew up, or anything like that. Well, did it ever occur to you that I might have a good reason for not spilling my guts? Sure, yeah, and I tried to respect your privacy. No, no, you haven't. You have tried every way that you can to find out about me. Things and things I don't want to share. Iman, it's not just things. We're talking about murder here. And it's freaking me out. Just trying to understand, okay? I'm on your side. I just need some answers. Bon appetit. Try not to choke on it. Jack. It doesn't have to be like this, okay? We were polite to each other once. I think we can manage. Yeah, but it never lasts, does it? It's because we always bring up the past. Stupid stuff. You know, the stupid stuff you did to me over and over again. Bye. get Rafe. Look, this war between the two of you, it's killing everything that is good and that's real. And still she battles on. It's because I have to. Otherwise, there's no point to any of this at all. I will continue to fight for Rafe just like you will continue to fight for Livy, no matter how much pain we're in. You don't know anything about my pain. Yes, I do. Look, at, listen to me just for a second. When you talked about the two women that you trusted betrayed you, Livy and me. I saw something in you that touched me, and I think that you liked that. You know, this is all pointless now, all right? No, it's not. No, it's not pointless. I know you have other powers. You know things. You know dark secrets. And I know you can get to the place where Rafe is, and you can free him from the curse. I know you can. I'm sorry, Allison. It's out of my hands, Rafe's. On his own. Allison! I want to talk to you just about anything. Oh, I'd never be able to talk to you again. Is, is that it? Is that my fate that I, I'll just be away from her forever? <laughs> is that the best you can do? Well, you got nothing, okay? You got nothing. You got Allison. Oh God, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this. I was, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I was sent back to Earth to be with you. Not to fight vampires, not to find a way to beat Caleb, but to be with you. That's what they said. You're sent back to be with her. And Caleb was just a distraction. It was just a test. And if I get a chance, if I get another chance, I, I swear, I swear, I will live my life as it was intended to be lived. I promise you, I promise you that I will, I will be with you, just you and only you. If I just get another chance, if it's not too late, if it's not too late. You live in a world filled with empty promises, Slayer. All the good intentions in that world won't change your fate. You've picked your path. Now, it's time to see where it takes you. What do you mean? For reasons that will soon become clear, I've decided to set you free. It's time to meet your future. I'm ready. <laughs> Give me uh, one red one. Okay. Please. There you go. Thank you very much. There you go. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Jeff. Lock up, man. I'll Jeff. take the night off. Yes. I knew the man in this article. The man who was murdered. He was my professor. English composition. He told me I had talent. I was flattered. 
I was the last thing that resembled anything normal in my life. Were you in love with him? He was just a friend. Just a really nice man. That's all. Did you kill him? No. I didn't kill him. But you might have just killed me. Allison? Allison! I'm here! It's over! Oh. Oh. She's not here, but that's okay. I'll just, I'll just wait for her. Right here. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's over. It's finally over. That's right. No more, Caleb. No more fight in that battle. From now on, it's just you and me. That's right. And we are gonna have everything we ever dreamed of. <laughs> Caleb, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live like this? You'll figure out a way. You're a smart girl. We all figure out a way eventually. What? What is it? I felt a shift. Rafe's back. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. I knew you were done. I knew you were done. I knew you had the power. This is gonna be so amazing. It wasn't me, Alice. No, I don't believe you. I think you must have known. But it doesn't matter now. All that matters is that Rafe is back, and this time, I swear we're gonna do it right this time. Thank you. I wish for this to be the most romantic evening Caleb has ever known. I wish for Caleb to feel the kind of passion he's only dreamed of. to be a night of intense love that Caleb will never forget, and I want him to always know that I am the one who made it happen. Don't worry. I know. And out of this intense passion, I will give my greatest wish of all. The end of the night. This is Linda Dano, and I love playing Felicia on Another World. I'm so thrilled SoapNet is taking us back to Bay City. Every weekday, turn on SoapNet and return to Another World. SoapNet, pure soap 24-7, the new way to watch soaps.